People have the right to demonstrate, people have the right to housing, people have liberties. This bill is taking away people's liberties, it's taking away people's right to speak, right to live, right to even walk in the field, right to gather together more people than 20 and they can actually arrest you, take your equipment, you know. There's no provisions made in this bill for people who travel or who move around. There's, it's mad, it's craziness and it's getting passed along and nobody's doing fuck all about it and it's completely infuriating that this government cannot get away with this kind of shit at this stage. People should be more aware, really.
they have, you know, they have had the initiative, the Rough Sleepers initiative. Yeah. He poured a lot of money into that. He's done a lot of reading around it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And he knows that there's been millions poured yeah. into Rough Sleepers initiative. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and yeah. where it and has happened, it has, been it has been successful yeah. Um, yeah. because it's provided housing, yeah. but it's not enough. the streets every week and if they evict 60,000 more squatters and criminalize 25,000 more travelers then there's going to be more people there to join them. People are being forced onto the streets in Britain because of the policy of a government that's created and generated mass homelessness in our society and that's the scandal, that's what's offensive. He's feeling very bad today yeah. because this kind of gathering, I'm not stepping over the mark because he's told you, his brother died in a doorway and he had to identify the body That's right, yeah. and this kind of gathering brings back the pain that he's been through and brings back the pain of homelessness that he went through. The main reason we're here today and the main reason that this demonstration was called in the first place was to remember the hundreds of people that have died on the streets of London over the last few years. I find that I have more increasingly been called upon to conduct funerals for people that have died as a result and the consequence of homelessness. I would ask you all to stand as we remember those who have died on the streets of London. Willie Brown, Joe Pereira, Willie Wiley, Willie Boyle, Fred Bradbury, Peggy Chiswell, John Horwell, Ian Dunlop, George Brown, John Grant, James Levin, Jimmy and I know a lot of people who are on the streets, okay, and they're good people. They are good people. And there's no way that this, this government should, like, treat them like shit. But they do, you know what I mean? All I want is a home and a job. Do you know what I mean? I just want a home and a job. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm not... I, I, respect, yeah. That's all I want.
2,000 centuries at least. We will end up with gypsies, and the gypsies think that they're not going to be included, but they are, and they are already. And the travellers, whoever you are, for whatever reason you're on the road. It will take away a duty to provide sites from local authorities, which means the gypsies and travellers will have nowhere legally to be, and we'll criminalise them. The babies, the children, the mums, the dads, everybody. It's appalling, and we talk about a modern country in a century where we're supposed to be moving forward on human rights. What we have to do in order to fight this bill is do what we're doing today. We have to stand together and show them that we are able to say no collectively, and we're able to turn around and say no, and say no, and say no, and continue to oppose. The bigger the problem, the smaller we feel, but the little things we do help the planet to heal. It's important just to do a bit, and with this rap, I hope you realise it. In fact, I'll prove it's a stupid fool who just doesn't do anything at all. Look what happens when there's news of poison food. The egg industry died when salmonella brewed. We stopped buying ozone unfriendly spray and the makers changed them right away. We turned our attention to the plight of the whales and between us we've nearly tipped the scales. So realize the power of the individual. Remember that love is a special tool. It's not that you need your life to change but your priority you rearrange. By losing that conformist mold you follow your heart not what you're told. Thousands of people throughout the land doing their thing and making a stand. Actions and deeds that free the mind. Get rid of those thoughts of a guilty kind. If you want to do something and you don't know what to do, here's my message directed to you. Saving the world is not too hard, but you've got to start in your own backyard.